Previously, uh, Final Fantasy 15. <sighs> huh? What the? A dracoon! No! So you must be Highwind. Hey, pretty boy. So you're a Highwind. A dracoon. Let's see what you can do. Fine. Dracoon against dragoon. And now we continue. Hey everyone, welcome back to more Final Fantasy 15. In the last part, we met our first Dragoon, aka a something, I forgot her name, but I know it's Highwind, she's a Highwind, she's a Dragoon, and we sort of kicked her ass! We showed her who's the real Dragoon. But now we gotta take Iris and go all the way back, we gotta continue on heading up to Cape Coem. So thank you all for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this so far, and let's continue on our way! Yes, have Agus drive, yes, have him drive! Alright, move out! Let's move out! Yeah. Alright guys, so I have a sort of announcement to make, um... Remember how, like, far back, I think and in the first we episode, go. first part of this series, I talked about how Ball Fantasy inspired, um, me and some of my friends to make a video game called Final Night, right? And I think, like, if, I forgot what part, but, like, in one other, in a few other, in a few other of my videos, I talked I about how my another friend round. was a manga Given artist, and he's, like, you know, interested glad you in how to make, like, a manga yeah. series. So yeah, we're actually going to start not making so well a mega series on Final Night. Now, it's not going to be, um, like, it's not going to be a mega series that tells the event of Final Night, it's more of a mega series that tells, like, the backstory of, like, the of, the tells, like, the backstory of some of the major characters. So it's going to be the first one we're working on. Like, we're just, like, we're just, like, testing it out, like, see how it goes. So the first one's going to be called Final Night Cajun, and it's going to be focusing on one of the villains, one of the antagonists, Cajun. We'll be focusing on Cajun, who is an antagonist in Final Night. And it's basically, within the manga, you're going to see how he came to be. Like, how this one person became this person. Like, how he became an antagonist in Final Night. Like, how, like, basically his backstory. And, like, we really, we want to make the villains, um, like, one, one we want to make the villains, or the antagonist, aka the antagonist. One of those kind of villains where it's hard for you to disagree with them. Like, it's hard for you to see them as, like, a villain. Because, like, we don't want to have, like, a traditional Is it me or is this place begging to be explored? Where it's like, oh, I'm evil for the sake of being evil. If what they say about the moment Wait, that we think is true, then we might just find what we're looking for here. Oh, oh, oh okay. Why are we stopping? Why are we stopping? What are we stopping? Okay, continue on while saying, um, we want to make the villains, like, hard for you to see them as villains. Like, we don't want to have, like, traditional villain where it's like, oh, I'm evil for the sake of being evil. I'm evil because I want power. I'm evil because this. No, no, no. We want the villains to be like, I'm, like, I'm, yeah, I'm bad, but this is why I'm bad. And it's hard for you to disagree. It's hard for you to say, yeah, you know, it's evil. Because we really want to make them... No, lovable we made likeable, it. just as much as the main characters and the protagonists. Uh, starting to come down. I think. Uh, perfect. Why the fuck are we here? A little rain never hurt anybody. Makes me feel like a kid again. Wait, you haven't changed why are we much. here? Oh, while you guys were gone, I saw a chocobo run past um, and it had a person on its back. Have you guys ever ridden one before? Yeah, most of the time. I bet it'd be super fun. Oh, trust me. <laughs> and, and, and they, they drop dogs Not everywhere. Cool like, they are no the good chocobos. I mean, they just drop their load whenever they feel like it. It is a mess. It is an absolute mess. Okay, so where, where, where are they? Okay, yeah. Um, basically, we want to make the villains just as likable and believable and relatable as the heroes. As the protagonists. And I think... I, got, I gotta say, out of all the villains... Of all the antagonists, the one I think make the one I think that has that mindset where it's hard for you to like hate him for what he does, like hate him for believing in what he does, like hate him for believing in like what he believes in, and hating him be, to hate him for being a villain. I think is UK, is UK, and I'm not I'm not really gonna tell you like you know UK story yet. Cause I don't think we're gonna make um. A manga series on UK backstory because that's sort of like, kind of like, I don't know, cause like, like some of the plot points of his backstory and all that. I don't. I feel like it might spoil a little bit of Final Night. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'll re. I'll like. I'll go back into it. I'll like carefully scan all like the plot, plot points, and I want to see if I can make it without, um, like without like giving away too much. Of it, cause I don't want to like release like you know bomb night Kate uh bomb night um 
UK, and then it like it like spoils like a major plot point in the game. Cause I know I know definitely, definitely um there was like definitely one other character where I know for sure I can't do because there is like like cause he's really like his whole backstory basically like you know spoils a huge plot point in the game. So I don't definitely don't want to do his. But UK's I'm not sure. I'll definitely try and see if I can around UK because. He is like one. He's like one of the one of the antagonists where it's very like I dare you to find like a reason not to like him or like not to. to I dare you to find a reason to, to disagree with UK's actions and what UK does. I dare you to disagree because like better start preparing for supper. Like, even I, oh, I'm like, wow. If I'm in UK's shoes, I would have done the exact same thing. Like I would have felt the same way. I would have, you know, thought about doing the same things. I would have. Try my best. Well, not really try my best, but I would like do like what you have done, and that's what I really think makes a successful villain. What should I eat? Uh, ooh, Ignis. You like that, Ignis? So you know what? For being a good sport, Ignis, we're gonna make that. But yeah, the first movie to be Final Night Cajun. Um, it's so far. I don't know how many chapters it's gonna be because like we're currently working on just chapter one. So I don't know exactly like how long the chapter is gonna be, but if I have to say ballpark, the first chapter of Final Cajun, um, to give like a brief like sonnet of what is gonna be in Final, the first chapter of Final Cajun is basically the start of Cajun and like young Cajun, like the beginning of you know Cajun childhood, basically the. Uh, sure. Kaden's childhood, and we see like we don't really see his transformation into the Kaden that we see, him. but we but like we see like what he was, you know, before he was what he was in the game, and I th it's like a great opportunity to work with Ryan. It's a great opportunity for him. It's a great opportunity for me. It's like it's amazing that you know we get to work on such a great project with this and i wish i wish him i wish both of us the best of luck i really like i wish us the best of luck when it comes to making this i hope you guys love it too um when we actually have like the first like complete All right, set move out. It's actually like, yeah. the chapter's complete it's done we have it up for sale for digitally and all that. Digitally or physical, I'm not sure, but most likely it'll be digital. I'll definitely leave a link to it in my latest video. I'll definitely leave a link to the site or the store of where you can actually pick up on that KGM. And don't don't be afraid to leave your, your thoughts of it in the comment section. Like, let me know in the comment section what you think we did well, what we think we can improve on, what you like personally thought of it. Cause I really like to like love to know like your feedback on it. It's and it's just amazing. It's just amazing. And it's just like a huge opportunity. And if you guys um have any background in, like gaming, animation, gaming, animation, coding, if you have any background, you know, if you guys are interested in working on Final Night with us, just let me know. You know, leave in the comment section. We're always open for like you know anyone who wants to help or wants to be a part of it. We're always open for that. So are yeah, you guys excited that's, uh, to visit Altisha or what? That's it for uh yes. my Final I'm Night so announcement. Jealous. Back to Final Night 50, guys. That we're currently oh, doing. Yeah. So, You're right. I really want to know what's happening. What's going to happen next? Because all I can what? think of what's happening. No, I'm Final fine. I, I'm not jealous. I just had a Levi lot of fun hanging out with you guys. But like that'll Levi all be in the past Shiba, once we hit Kaim. What are you talking and about? The other we can hang out anytime. Fight right? Yeah. Ifrit and Leviathan. Because I've definitely seen for a bunch of trailers, and this is actually like a, a gameplay trailer where you fight Leviathan. Like, that was actually a really cool fight, and at the beginning of the game, you fight some fire demon, which I can assume is Ifrite, because Ifrite is basically a fire demon, Final Fantasy, it's basically a fire demon. Oh. Let's pull over for a sec. Why? How come? Well, I gotta give the driver a break every now and then. If you say so. Wonder why no one ever thought of that before. Oh. Because well, no one have... ever had a little sister along for the ride. <clears throat> I am aware here. Sorry for cramping your style. Calm down. I'm just kidding. You say that. Not my fault you're too big for the back seat. Oh, Lilith. Wait, Iris, wait, you love. Oh, wait, I forgot. Yeah, we, all of our health goes up when we eat. I'm like, wait a minute, Iris, you leveled up? <laughs> like, wait a minute. We can level you up, hey, Iris? Today. Is there anything good? Anything good? Deadly Ward, no. Uh, luxury Captain. I don't know why I need that. Uh, don't really see why I need that. Uh, food wise? 
Let me get one of everything. Thank you! Get one of everything. Fill it, yep. Fill it. Uh, claw, and yep. Anything from um, potions? Uh, what? The boost magic? The spirit of the world cures? Hell, no, 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 no. Uh, Phoenix down. I think I'm gonna Phoenix down. High elixirs, elixirs. All right, well, yeah, I think we're all good. I'm all good. Till next time. All right. Huh. Thanks. Uh, oh, what's this? Wah. Oh, no. Chocobo. Oh, okay. No, okay. Come on, Iris. Let's go. All right. So basically, I have not fought anything in a while. I haven't fought anything in this part. I'm concerned now. I want to fight something. Sydney, Sydney, is that you? Knew it was y'all. Hey, Sydney. Recognize the purr of that engine anywhere. Part way, part with Iris. Ah, oh, fine. Thanks for the ride. It was fun. Sorry, Iris, but you know. How's the boat? Papa's tinkering away. Reckon he'll be tinkering for some time. Oh, so we got trouble at sea. We gotta do now. Seen her share by the looks of her. Some parts we can fix, others need replacing. Right, so that's what we gotta do. We gotta replace them, right? An overhaul. So that means we gotta go and kill worry. things and replace Papa them, right? Papa ain't going nowhere till the job's done. Parts won't fetch themselves, though. Was kind of hoping y'all wouldn't mind helping out oh, with no that. Oh, no problem. I kill something disposal. in the wild, so. To tell know. the truth, we already got a couple hands on deck. Dustin and Monica. Those two have been real swell. Managed to gather just about everything we need. You can depend on the you know, crowd's guy. You know what would be so cool, though? Trouble is, they ain't had ledge. much luck finding a certain Monica, something by the name ledge. of Mithril. Apparently, the stuff's hard to come by around these parts. How? How? At least according to the little marks. fella from the city. Talgut? You betcha. Sharp as a tack, that one. Could tell y'all more about the stuff than I could. We'll be sure to ask. Okay. But why is it like in almost every Final Fantasy game I've ever played, there's always a mission down on the dock. where like we have to get <laughs> Now, if y'all excuse me, I'm gonna grab my tools and ski daddle. Got a garage to look after. Alright. So thanks, Cindy. Prince Noctis! Hey! hey our house is over here! Right this way! Alright. Okay, but do you have the mithril? Because, you know, I mean, I have like a bunch of mithril weapons for like three parts. Can we just take them and help them do like can we just do that? That seems like a very smart idea to me. That seems like a very smart idea. What, Talcon? I think Miss Cindy might have told you already, but she needs a very special kind of ore called Mithril to fix the boat. Oh, I have a bunch of Mithril Remember the stuff. waterfall? I read in Grandpa's notebook, there's some ruins near a lake just north of there. Uh, it said you'll find Mithril inside. But, like, can we just please just update, talk to Iris? About that lake. Pretty sure he was talking about the Vesper Pool. Um, I asked Monica to look into it, and she told me the road leading there is under Imperial Lockdown. Fuck. You'll want to be prepared for anything. So, how's that coming along? Yeah, I think yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get. Give us a second. Uh, okay. I'll be inside then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just, don't worry. Go inside where it's safe. Or you can come with us. You know, like I said before, you can come with us. Join our party. Come on, Iris. Please. Although you have my swords, you can have my swords. Please have my so, swords. Yeah. Gonna have to ask you to handle this boat business without me. What? Say what? I got some business of my own to deal with. Well, Claudia, wait! You want to play for a bit? Oh, 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 how long? Gonna be long? Not long enough for you to miss me. Okay. Okay, I, I guess. But can, how about we replace him with. On. Ah, uh, please. End of chapter. What? Uh, I don't really like that. Uh, uh, prompto, um, oh, that one I like. That one I like. Okay, the one you. Okay, 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 Noctis, we get it. You're badass. Stop with the whole trying to make us look like. Crap. So, okay, so that was the end of the chapter. So, wait a minute. So, Gladio left the party. Chapter 7, party of 3. His old ship, not to send the company required the rarest of ores, Mithril, with only a vague clue to guide them. They head to Empire Held Ruins, situated in the north of Klunging. But wait a minute. Mithril's not really that rare. I mean, like, their weapons are shit. <laughs> Mithril weapons are good for, like, the time being. Now, now their weapons are shit. Compared to the weapons I have now, the weapons are shit. It's not really rare as fuck. It's just, you know, 
I will expect it, you know, maybe, like, can we just, like, do that, please? Like, take our mithril weapons, buy a bunch of mithril weapons, smelt them into mithril, and then give it to Sid. Could that work? I mean, I have a bunch of fire spells. I can just keep hitting it with fire until it melts. I'm pretty sure that works. Ish. I'm not really sure how smelting works. I'm not really a more, I'm more of a gamer, not really a metalsmith kind of guy. But I'm pretty sure you heat it up to an extremely hot temperature. And then you put the metal inside and it goes tss, melting into like liquid, liquid. Give up.